Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to use the SPN command. Let's get started. Before starting, let's let me talk about something like why we use the SPN. If you want to work in the group, you have to use the SPN, otherwise you're gonna lose your code. Let's take an example. There are two developers who both are working on the same file. One needs to work on one section of the, that particular file and next one wants to work on the next section of that particular file. If the first developer saves and exits from the system and the second developer afterwards if the second developer saves the things then first developer will lose his work. So to overcome this issue we need to use the SPN. Let's get started how to use the SPN thing. I'm gonna show you how to use the basic thing about the SPN so let's create the project on the SPN before we start we need to create the project on the SPN so for that we can use SPN admin SPN admin create pro and the location for the repository so SPN repository demo and the name of project demo and now let's create the project yeah, we create the project on the SPN repository. So let's create the directory structure for this demo. Initial directory structure. So mktir minus p demo. Okay. And then trunk where we're gonna keep all the development version inside it and the text where we will be putting all our or person things like version one version two inside the tags and then the name of project again okay it will create the directory structure for us so let's go inside uh, let's create one index file inside the demo thing so echo okay hello old inside the trunk demo trunk, trunk demo and ind index.html what this command does is like it will just create the index.html file so we just want all this file inside initial import on our spn repository so to import the things we have to issue the command svn import from where we want to import from the demo of course demo to where we want to import so file svn repo demo okay sorry i just missed the comment why state of the import so i n i t i a l import so this is the initial import inside svn so now let's take this situation. We got two user. One is user one and one another is user two. So they both will check out from the SPN repository. So to check out the things, user one will issue the things. SVN checkouts. Check out from where you should he want to check out is file SVN repo demo and trunk demo so he will be just checking out the development release so uh, and user 2 also wants to check out from that source so sbn check out file sbn repo demo trunk and demo okay so they both check out the things before that I need to make sure that everything is okay so for this we need to give rise to user and and user 2 so for that we will just issue the command ch mode minus r7772 slash svn repo demo so that it will give rise to both of them so let's start over here let's say user one made changes on the SPN. so we are cd demo 
index.html okay so he wants to make it h1 for this h1 so for so once he made the changes he need to commit the things onto the svn server so for that he will issue the command svn commit index.html minus m okay it's it's one tag added okay so he will just commit the thing so over here user one has all user two has already check out the thing so when he tried to edit the things like index that uh, sorry he need to go inside demo for the so he will and then index that here is no changes still so what he does is like he just add the new line hello old dear hello old my I Andy so oh, and he tries to uh, commit the things with his changes so SVNs commit index that minus m user two changes okay so whenever he hits the things it will report the conflict because it's not uh, it's out of sync user one has already committed his changes so with the help if uh, we don't have SPN we don't get chance to recover the previous thing so to recover the things let's open index.html so he over here index.hello world so on inside let's say let's update the things SPN update update index.html okay and updating the HTML so it will just recover the things so let's go to the index.html so this one is mine and this one is the usual one changes so by looking at this code he can easily diagnose the thing like this one and okay he made the changes okay he made it now he can commit the things so SPN commit and index.html minus m issu issue r -E s o l v e d issue result oh sorry what is conflict okay so it shouldn't be like that index.html so index dot s v n r e s o l v e d index dot h t m l okay okay s v n commit index dot h t m l minus m r e s o l v e d results okay now it's done so with this thing we can easily save our work of different developer so like this way we have to do the things on the SPN on next part of the SPN I'm going to show you little bit advanced things of the SPN so till then bye bye